Welcome to our channel where we make personal finance not just simple, but also exciting through concepts like minimalist living. Today, we're diving into the topic. Four ways to add to your savings account, frugal and minimalist living tips. In today's economic climate, the importance of saving and living minimally cannot be overstated. It's the safety net we all need, and yet, it often seems like a daunting task. But worry not, in this video, we'll be sharing four practical, straightforward ways to add at least $10 to your savings account every week by embracing a minimalist lifestyle. That's right, just by making small changes and reducing the clutter in your life, you could end up with an extra $520 in your account by the end of the year. Imagine what you could do with that. Are you ready to boost your savings and live minimally? Buckle up, because we're about to take off. First off, we have budgeting. Yes, it may sound boring, but it's a powerful tool. Budgeting is the art of understanding where your money goes and making smart decisions about how to allocate it. It's like a roadmap that guides you towards your financial goals. Let's imagine a scenario. Meet Jake. Jake loves his morning latte from the local coffee shop. It's a small luxury, but it costs him $5 a day. That's $25 a week, $100 a month, and over $1,000 a year. Now, Jake decides to swap his daily coffee shop visit for homebrewed coffee. With this simple change, he starts saving about $10 a week. That's the magic of budgeting. But budgeting isn't just about cutting back, it's about prioritizing your spending. Jake also realizes he's been paying for a cable subscription that he rarely uses due to his work schedule. He decides to cut the cord, freeing up another chunk of money to add to his savings every month. Budgeting also involves tracking your expenses. By keeping a keen eye on where his money goes, Jake identifies other areas where he can cut back without sacrificing his lifestyle. He cancels an unused gym membership and opts for outdoor workouts instead. He starts packing his lunch instead of eating out, saving even more. Through these small, smart decisions, Jake manages to save an additional $40 a week. That's over $2,000 a year, all thanks to budgeting. Now, Jake is not just saving money, but he's also gaining a sense of control over his finances. He feels empowered, financially secure, and well on his way to achieving his savings goals. See, budgeting isn't scary, but rather a key to unlock your savings potential. It's not about depriving yourself of the things you love, but rather about making informed decisions that help you save more. So, take a page out of Jake's book, start budgeting, and watch your savings grow. Next up is online selling. Got stuff lying around that you barely use? It's time to turn them into cash. Now, we all have those items gathering dust in our closets or garages. They could be anything, an old bicycle, a barely used blender, or perhaps a collection of vinyl records. Why let them sit idle when you can convert them into a steady income flow? Let's take the case of Sarah. Sarah was an avid reader and had amassed a large collection of books over the years. One day she realized that many of these books were simply occupying space on her bookshelf. So, she decided to list them for sale on Amazon. Sarah was pleasantly surprised when her books started selling. She managed to make about $10 a week just by selling books she no longer needed. What's more, she continued to add to her savings with every successful sale. You see, platforms like Amazon, eBay, or even local online marketplaces make it easy to sell your unused items. They have millions of users, which means your item is likely to find a new home quickly, and every sale you make can translate into more money in your savings account. But remember, success in online selling doesn't happen overnight. It requires a little bit of effort and patience. You need to take good pictures of your items, write descriptive listings, and respond promptly to potential buyers. And don't worry about the price. Even if you think your item isn't worth much, list it anyway. You'll be surprised at what people are willing to pay for things they need or want. After all, one person's trash could be another's treasure. So start exploring your home for things you don't need, list them online, and watch your savings grow. Remember, one person's trash could be another's treasure. So start selling. Our third approach involves embracing frugal living habits. Essentially, frugality is the act of seeking less pricey alternatives, thus improving your savings. It's not about giving up life's pleasures, but about making smarter choices that not only bolster your savings, but also align the principles of minimalism. Let's use a tangible example to explain this. Consider the frequent habit of dining out. 
A solitary meal can range from $15 to $20, a cost that quickly accumulates if done regularly. Nonetheless, by opting to cook at home, you can substantially reduce this cost. Purchasing groceries and making your own meals can bring your food expense to as low as $5 per meal. Here's the math. If you trade two restaurant meals a week for homemade ones, you could save up to $20. That's double our aim of adding $10 to your savings account each week, achieved by altering just one habit. And that's just scratching the surface. Frugal living permeates all life aspects, from transportation to entertainment, a philosophy that resonates with minimalism. Opting to carpool or take public transit instead of driving can conserve fuel expenses. Choosing free or inexpensive entertainment options, like enjoying nature, reading books, or hosting a game night with friends, can yield substantial savings over time. The key is to pinpoint areas where you can make these simple adjustments. Start by scrutinizing your spending habits and identifying where your money is going. Then brainstorm ways to minimize these expenses without drastically affecting your lifestyle. Remember, frugality, much like minimalism, isn't about living a life of deprivation. It's about making intelligent, mindful decisions that are in line with your financial goals. It's about prioritizing the future over the present and acknowledging that every little saving today contributes to a more financially secure tomorrow. Frugal living is not about renouncing everything you love, but making choices that are financially and environmentally smarter. Last but not the least, we have side hustles. Now, what are side hustles, you ask? They are essentially any work or job you do in addition to your main job, often during your free time. They can be a fantastic way to supplement your income and boost your savings. Let's consider an example, meet Jane. By day, she's a graphic designer, but in the evenings she started walking dogs in her neighborhood. This wasn't just a fun way for her to spend time with pets, but also a way for her to earn an extra $50 a week. After setting aside expenses, she manages to save an extra $10 every week. Or take John, he's a full-time accountant, but he also loves writing. So, he started freelancing as a content writer over the weekends. His passion not only helped him add another feather to his cap, but also an extra $10 a week to his savings account. Side hustles not only add to your income, but also to your skills. So start hustling. So there you have it. Four effective strategies to increase your savings account on a weekly basis. We've explored budgeting, demonstrating how a well-devised budget can allow you to save at least $10 each week. We've investigated online selling, converting your unused things into cash. Additionally, we ventured into the realm of frugal living habits, exhibiting how minor alterations can lead to noteworthy savings. Lastly, we talked about side hustles, those extra assignments or gigs that can enhance your income and savings. Each approach is a means, a step on your pathway to mastering your financial future. Now let's highlight a key aspect of frugal living, minimalist living. Embracing minimalism contributes to savings by reducing unnecessary expenses and focusing on what's truly important. Imagine if you start today in a year, you could have over $500 in savings. It's all about making minor, sustainable changes and committing to them. We're curious to learn which method you'll implement first. Share with us in the comments below. And make sure to explore our other videos on personal finance and minimalist living. Subscribe to our channel for more enlightening videos. Always remember, every dollar saved is a step closer to financial freedom. Happy saving!